And do your runners at Tiaha race to St. Emilian? Uh, obviously disappointing last weekend. We've just decided back right-handed um, in a race that he has won before. Has to give a couple of handy ones some weight, but small field should suit him. Race four, last start winner, Espresso Martini. Yeah, just hard to find suitable races. This is another tough one for her. Um, obviously Dawn Patrol will be hard to beat, but just really keeping her ticking over and looking for some stakes options heading it into the next few weeks. Also peaceful, same race? Yeah, she's a, obviously a promising filly coming up really well into the autumn, so couldn't be happier with how she is going into it. A um, little bit of luck in the run, she could go a good race fresh. Race five, Power Harter. Power Harter, she's obviously disappointing fresh up, just probably raced a little bit kingly, 1400 fresh up. Um, so look, a little bit of luck in the run would suit her, um, but expected to back up next Saturday at Hastings and that could be more her go. Race six, debut winner, she's fearless. Uh, look, she was impressive. I think up to the mile does suit, um, but never easy stepping up in grade, especially on a Saturday. Um, but she's certainly capable. Race seven, the fresh up runner, High Lad. Um, Fourteen hundred. If it had been a slow or heavy track, probably would have been ideal. On a dead track, probably going to be a bit quick for him. But he is working well. Expect him, expect him to go a cheeky race. If he had finished in the first four or five, would be wrapped. Um, but no, otherwise, it's just a race to kick his preparation off. And race eight, Nicoletta. Uh, Nicoletta's coming up really well, um, just has, has had no luck at all this time in. If she does get any luck, she's a top three chance. And down at Rickerton, race five, Camino Ocoso. Um, hard to find a suitable race for him up here, so getting a bit frustrated. Down there, hopefully he gets his chance.